Hello and welcome back to the Coder's Legacy channel. In this video, we'll talk about the bar chart in Matplotlib. All right, so the bar chart is a pretty simple and very basic plot in Matplotlib, as well as any other graphing utility. The bar chart is one of the most basic ways of visualizing data. All right, so let's get started. Plotting this is actually gonna be really, really easy. We just need some data. So I can do something like languages. Okay, I'm just gonna come up with some random data here, like C++ and Python and Java and what else? JavaScript. All right, I'm just com coming up with a few random languages here for our data. Okay, and C Sharp. We got these. Now let's just make another metric. Okay, we need two sets of data: one for the x-axis, one for the y-axis. So let's just say it's popularity or something. So we'll just make some uh you know some random data here all right now we're gonna plot this data inside our, our matplotlib window and then show it as a bar chart okay okay to show which language is the most popular that's a pretty simple use of a bar chart it's used to compare different pieces of data like over here we're comparing different languages and their popularity so as usual in matplotlib we'll create a figure object first Okay, a figure in axis object. And the figure is basically the matplotlib window. And the axis is basically, you know, the x and y axis. Okay, and it's pretty much the main object that we use. Okay, this ax object here. We're going to use the subplots function, which returns both a figure and an axis. Okay, so what we'll do now is ax, the axis object, dot bar. This uh, axis object, as I mentioned before, has many, many different functions. It has like bar, then scatter, and all kinds of different functions that we'll discuss later on in the series. Okay, so right now we're going to use bar, and this takes just uh, a few parameters. Okay, languages and popularity. This is the x axis, and that's the y axis. Okay, pretty simple, right? So now we'll do plt.show. This calls the matplotlib window and is actually going to display it. Okay, if you don't call this line, the matplotlib graph will not show up. So if you click this now and run it, okay, we have a slight uh, problem, and that's because apparently I put six of values in there. So there was a size mismatch. Okay, just be careful with that. So if I run this code now, we'll get our window. Okay, so here's our window and we can see our five languages and we can see the uh, automatic labels on the y-axis and the names that we gave our, uh, our languages. They're all there, okay? And that's it, that's all there was to it. This is a very basic bar chart in matplotlib. But the thing is, making a simple bar chart is easy, but customizing it is a lot more difficult. And obviously you want your bar chart to look good, right? So you'll want to customize it a bit Okay, so there's a lot of different customization options, which we'll now discuss. All right, so for example, a very basic thing that you might want to do in some cases is maybe plot a vertical bar chart. I mean, a horizontal bar chart. By default, it's vertical, right? So what if you want to plot it vertically? I mean, horizontally, of course, sorry. So you need to do bar etch. It's a different function, but it belongs to the same axis object you just do bar and then etch etch for horizontal okay so if you run this code now we'll get a horizontal graph okay now there's a lot more that i want to show you okay because it doesn't look very good right now there are a lot of problems that i could mention here okay and let's try and resolve some of those and i'll show you a lot of different ways we can customize this along the way all right so for example, a very basic customization that you'll definitely want at some point is color. You'll want to change the color. So we could change this to like red. Oh, so sorry. So here's our matplotlib window now and it's all red. Okay, pretty simple, right? So uh, what if, however, you wanted to give them different colors? Okay, what we could do actually is create an array of colors so like red blue, green, and what else? Yellow, and uh, what else would matplotlib accept? 
uh, something basic. We could go with black, but that would be... Okay, fine. Let's go with black. So what we'll do now is just remove this from there. And I'm going to... Uh, all right, hold on. This actually returns an object. So we'll need to actually store that somewhere. Okay. It returns the bars. So what we'll do is for bar in bars, bar dot set color colors uh and this is gonna be a bit be a bit tricky because we'll need to use enumerate over here okay because we need an index number as well to access the array okay so this should set the different colors and there we go just as i expected we now have our multicolored bar chart set up okay that's pretty cool right so let's take a look at some more options okay because still the main problem has not been fixed i still want it to look better okay uh, i want to customize it a lot further so let's see how we can do that one rather cool thing i want to do actually i mean some of this some of the customization options that i show you here might not make a lot of sense for our current example but i'm just showing you guys them just in case just just so that when you guys code you'll be doing different things right so it might help you out okay so i'm just gonna do whatever comes to mind and all the customization options that i know i'm just gonna bust them out right now all right so yeah let's just see what we can do so i'm gonna do this it's a rather interesting thing that i learned just recently okay just i trade through each one of these and then access dot spines okay and then do s over here and set a visible set visible function set them to false all right so uh and why is it that we're missing oh wait oh of course hold on uh just remove that over there and now we're good okay we just removed all those four boundaries because I noticed that they look fine on the vertical bar chart, but on the horizontal bar chart, maybe it's better if we remove them. All right. So let's see. What else can we do? Um, hold on. Just run that again. Because uh, now maybe we want to remove the ticks. Okay. Let's just see what happens just to show you guys. Maybe you want to do that for some reason. So I'm going to show you guys how you can rem remove the ticks and what are the ticks. Well, you'll see very soon, if you don't already know, that is. Okay, so we'll set them to none. You, you need to do this for both the x-axis and the y-axis separately. But if you do this, then those little bars down there are now gone. Okay, that may be something you're interested in. Okay, if we're going for a very minimalistic kind of approach. All right, so besides this, I just realized I didn't show you guys some of the most basic uh, customization features there are. And that is, first of all, title. So we can call this uh, languages or programming languages popularity comparison. Okay. And if I run this code now, uh, oh, let me close the old window. And here's our new window. So there's our title. Okay, cool. So one, another thing that we can do is X label. All right, this will um, give us a label on the x-axis. So what's on the x-axis currently? Now, normally it would be courses, but we've actually uh, made a horizontal one, so it's kind of flipped. So it's going to be popularity at the x-axis. And let me just confirm that. Yeah. All right, cool. So we can also ex um, you know, be a little more descriptive here because normally we don't, when dealing with big numbers like uh this is roughly what 527 something we can see the values here in the bottom right corner okay so roughly when we're dealing with large values like this we usually just you know say millions or thousands or something okay because obviously uh these languages have like millions of users right so let's do the same for the y label okay and call it programming languages okay and now we have where to go oh okay that's a bit of a problem now all right that's a problem let's see if we can fix that somehow 
okay uh let me take a look at some things first of all uh, i'm going to actually add in some padding maybe maybe the padding will actually end up fixing it okay let's hope so so what i'm going to do here axis dot x axis and then a dot and we'll do set pick params pad is equal to 10 and i'm going to do the same for the y axis and if i run this hmm, no the padding only uh was only for the uh ticks okay it kind of moved them a bit further as you can see basically you know hold on let me just remove that and show you okay i'm gonna comment this out run the code and here you can see that they're kind of a bit close to the bars over here and adding the padding just moves the ticks away it doesn't uh, apply the padding on the label so we'll need to figure something out for the label actually or come to think of it one easy way of solving this problem is using the fig size parameter what's it called fig size something okay i think it's called this uh so what we can do here is pass in a large value something like 12 and 8 maybe okay that was a bit too large hold on let's tone that down a bit 10 and 6 okay cool so here's our window now and fix size can be used to obviously as you can see change the size of the window and also change its aspect ratio so it's a pretty cool way of managing this okay and it actually looks nice right now okay now there are one or two more options obviously that i want to take a look at so let's discuss those we're still not done so i'm going to come down here we're going in going in sequence it doesn't really matter so until plt.show is called none of these changes will actually show up right so uh of course you could always call these during the runtime as well uh, but then you might have to deal with updating and stuff and we'll, we'll have a separate tutorial on that how to update a bar graph in real time okay so anyways for now i want to draw a grid onto the bar chart you know those those just those grid lines you know that we often see on graphs and stuff so it's pretty cool to actually add those so let's do that so what we'll do is visible is equal to true okay and this alone will make them show up okay but obviously they don't look very nice right now and that's because they need to be customized a bit so what we'll do the very first thing we'll do is just customize the color we can make them gray okay that didn't really do much but okay uh this is just the default color that i keep for the grid you know so what we actually need to do a very important setting is the alpha okay because right now they're like fully uh, opaque we need to just make them a bit transparent and that's a lot better we can just tone it down a bit more to 0 0.2 and maybe that's a bit too much 0 0.3 is probably a good point like that okay cool so that's our grid oh and uh, you can also customize the line width okay let's change this to one and this will make it more thicker we can't really see anything right now let's just increase it to three and obviously that, that's that, that's really thick let's just put it back to one it was fine or if you want to make it really thin you can just put it to like 0 0.5 and that that looks nice actually let's leave it at that one more setting here uh is uh line style yeah line style takes a bunch of different options you can pass in uh let's just move this to the next line okay so you can pass in a simple dash which i think is the default yeah it's the default so if you pass in double dash then you get these uh okay you can't see it right now uh, let me just make it uh, for the time being let's put the alpha back to one so you can see the dashes in there if you look carefully okay and you can also do uh, dot like this and this also produces uh, effect and if you look really closely you can actually see those dots uh but you know uh, that's a bit small this, this is another setting and maybe you want to increase the line width to actually see these properly uh yeah there we go okay so if i change this to this again we can see what it looks like okay 
but again that depends on you and what you want to keep i'm just going to go with 0 0.75 let's take let, let's stay with that okay cool so let's move on to the next the next one is a very very important feature it's basically called patch where we can actually draw some text onto our bar chart to you know give it some more meaning let's try that out okay so what we'll do is uh for i or for patch in ax dot patches okay we'll do plt dot text this is a way of drawing text okay and um basically we'll do patch dot get sorry wrong spelling patch dot get width okay and let me i'll explain all these parameters in a minute so patch dot get y Okay, these are the coordinates. Okay, this is the x coordinate and this is the y coordinate where we want to plot the text. Okay, and what text are we plotting? Don't worry, it'll all make sense once you see uh, what I do here. Okay, and I'm gonna round this actually because uh, the coordinate system in matplotlib goes into the decimal places and I don't want decimal places in the text that I'm about to plot. Okay. So just gonna do this, round it off to this position. You can actually see it here in this documentation. It's gonna round it off to the second decimal place. Okay, uh, anything else am I forgetting? No. Okay, so the coordinates, the first two parameters are the coordinates and the third parameter is the text that we, we want to plot. So if I run this code now, there we go. Uh, but as you can see, it looks pretty off. The uh, the text over here it's not properly aligned and that is actually normal it's okay uh, but of course we can fix it right and let me show you how and before that i'm just going to set the alpha back to like 0 0.3 on that okay so i'm just going to move this to the next line first and over here i'm going to add 0 0.2 over here i'm going to add 0 0.5 you may need to move these values around a bit depending on your graph but these work fine for me so I'm going to run this and show you what it looks like now. Uh, it's okay, more or less. Um, maybe we need to increase the Y a bit or decrease it. Hold on. I think decrease. Yeah, cool. There we go. So just going to change it to 0 0.25. And yeah, that's more or less okay. That's more or less fine. And yeah, cool. And we can also change the color of the text here. So we can make it something like, uh, pick a color, let's go with red. And now it's red. Okay, pretty interesting, right? And one thing we can also do, I want you to actually notice something. If you go up here and look at our data, C++ was the very first language that we put in our data set. And its value is 543. But over here on our graph, C sharp is the first one. If we look at it from the top. Okay, so if you want to change this behavior, what you can simply do is, if you want to invert this behavior, you can just do invert, sorry, wrong one. There are two functions here, invert x-axis and invert y-axis. So we'll, we'll do the y-axis and invert it. And now you'll see that uh, C++ shows up at the top and C sharp shows up at the bottom. And this also, for some reason, affects the position, positions of the text. So we'll actually need to increase that back to 0 0.5, roughly. And yeah, and maybe increase the X a bit too. It's a, it's a bit too close to the bar. Uh, well, yeah, that works. Okay, so that's it. That's the plot that we've made. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We discussed a whole bunch of different options in today's video. Obviously, there's still more options out there. There's uh, other things that you can look at that can all work alongside the bar chart. You can look at the event system in matplotlib, which we'll make a video on in the future. And there's other things as well, like key bindings and all that kind of stuff that can be combined to make your bar chart experience even better. But obviously that's all advanced stuff and we'll take you through that slowly throughout the series. All right, so yeah, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Don't miss any updates and stay updated if you want to learn more about matplotlib. Alright, so I'll see you guys in the next video.